If 10 years ago someone had told you that by 2023 we would have managed to travel to an asteroid millions of kilometers away from Earth, extract a small piece of it and return to planet Earth in order to analyze and study the sample obtained, would you have believed it? Well, that's exactly what NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission did this year. NASA finally opened the space capsule containing the largest asteroid sample ever collected by a space mission. The sample came from Bennu, a potentially dangerous asteroid that is like a solar system time capsule. On September 26, 2023, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston opened the lid of the sample return container from the OSIRIS-REx mission, which had returned to Earth two days earlier with a sample from the asteroid. When they lifted the lid, the scientists were surprised by what they saw, a layer of black dust and debris in the container. The sample weighed 100 grams more than the one collected from Bennu, which was unexpected as the sample had been safely stored in a sealed container throughout its journey. So how did this happen? What is the origin of the unexpected black dust in the container? And, most importantly, what do scientists hope to find in the detailed analysis of the largest asteroid sample ever to return to Earth? We are Astro Geeks. If you're passionate about astronomy or just curious about the wonders of the universe, this is the place for you. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our videos and help us by liking the video, this is very important for the start of our project. Together, let's explore the far reaches of the universe. When the OSIRIS-REx mission was launched on September 8, 2016, it had three main objectives, collecting samples, characterizing the asteroid and assessing its possible impact on Earth. As mentioned earlier, Bennu is a potentially dangerous asteroid. On September 25, 2135, Bennu will pass close to Earth, and the gravity of our planet will alter its trajectory, making it challenging to calculate its future course. This is because, in addition to gravity, asteroids can be affected by non-gravitational forces, such as the Yarkovsky effect. When sunlight hits a rotating asteroid, the illuminated side heats up, while the night side cools and releases heat. This exerts a small force on the asteroid, capable of changing its direction over time. The Yarkovsky effect is challenging to model, but it can make a big difference in determining where asteroids end up. Due to the uncertainty about how the Yarkovsky effect will affect Bennu's orbit, we have limited knowledge about its location as it approaches Earth in 2135. Scientists need to consider several possible trajectories, depending on the intensity of the Yarkovsky effect. Some of these trajectories align with regions of space called gravitational keyholes. If Bennu passes through one of these holes, the Earth's gravity would bend its trajectory in such a way as to cause an impact in a subsequent orbit at the end of the 22nd century. Although the likelihood of this happening is low, scientists want to know as much as possible. The journey to Bennu took two years and four months. On December 3, 2018, OSIRIS-REx reached its destination after traveling approximately 2.2 billion kilometers. It entered orbit around the asteroid, beginning a series of surveys and mapping activities to select the ideal location for collecting samples. The most exciting phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission was the sample collection event, which took place on October 20, 2020. The spacecraft used its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism to briefly touch the surface and collect the sample. As Bennu is a small asteroid, only half a kilometer in diameter, the robotic arm had to collect the sample in almost zero gravity. OSIRIS-REx only had one chance and there was no margin for error. Finally, when the spacecraft came into contact with Bennu at a location called Nightingale, a blast of nitrogen gas was used to agitate and lift the material from the surface into the sample collection chamber. The minimum sample size requirement was 60 grams, however, in the brief nine-second contact with Bennu, OSIRIS-REx collected 300 grams of sample, five times more than NASA had anticipated. The sample was encapsulated, but a problem arose, the material was escaping due to a jammed flap caused by larger rocks. To avoid further losses, NASA decided to skip the scheduled measurement of the sample and seal it for the return. OSIRIS-REx departed from Bennu on May 10, 2021 and began its journey back to Earth. After almost two and a half years, on September 24, 2023, 
the spacecraft reached the vicinity of Earth and released the capsule containing the asteroid sample. The capsule entered our planet's atmosphere at a speed of 12 km per second and deployed a parachute to slow its descent. The capsule landed safely at the Utah Test and Training Range, where it was recovered by NASA personnel. A few days later, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston opened the lid of the container containing the sample from the OSIRIS-REx mission and were surprised and excited by what they found. The first thing they saw was a layer of dark dust and sand-sized particles in the container, which probably belonged to Bennu. This dust not only coated the inside of the container, but also extended to the outside, where all the electronics were housed. The dust escaped from the container through small openings between the lid and the body. The question that arises is, how did this happen? According to NASA, upon touching Bennu, OSIRIS-REx's brief contact generated a shock wave that spread across the asteroid surface, resulting in certain materials being ejected into space. Some of these materials followed OSIRIS-REx as it moved away from Bennu and settled on the spacecraft's outer surfaces. In addition, some of this material entered the sample container through the open flap, mixing with the material collected by TAGSUM. The combined mass of the sample, including dust and debris, is approximately 400 grams, exceeding the requirements for scientific purposes. In addition, it has been reported that the sample remains in excellent condition due to minimal exposure to high temperatures or contamination during the return journey. However, the presence of dust and debris in the container poses a unique challenge, requiring careful handling and cleaning by the scientists, who use specialized tools and techniques. They aim to remove the dust and debris without damaging the electronics or losing any material. In addition, they must thoroughly document each fragment of dust and debris, as they are integral components of the sample inventory. This sample return mission is a historic moment, but why are space agencies investing billions of dollars in visiting space rocks that are only half a kilometer wide? Well, that's because asteroids are time capsules. They formed at the beginning of the solar system, when the planets were still forming. Asteroids are composed of the same materials as the planets, but have not been altered by plate tectonics or other geological processes. This means that they may preserve a record of the early solar system that is not found on Earth. For example, scientists have discovered that asteroids contain various organic molecules. These molecules are considered to be the building blocks of life and their presence on asteroids suggests that the ingredients for life were present at the beginning of the solar system. The discovery of organic molecules on the asteroid Ryugu is a particularly exciting example. Ryugu is a carbonaceous asteroid, which means it is rich in organic material. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 returned with samples of Ryugu to Earth, and scientists have since analyzed them and found a variety of organic molecules, including amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, which are essential for life. This suggests the possibility that the ingredients of life may have arrived on Earth via asteroids in its early history. The next phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission, now renamed OSIRIS-APEX, focuses on studying the asteroid Apophis, which is a near-Earth asteroid about 340 meters in diameter. It will make a close pass to Earth in 2029 and could be on a collision course with Earth in the slightly more distant future. If you want to know a little more about it, we have an entire video explaining it in detail, let's leave it in the cards of that video. The OSIRIS Apex will arrive at Apophis in April 2029, just a few months after its approach to Earth. The spacecraft will spend 18 months studying Apophis in orbit, using its instruments to image and map the asteroid, study its composition and measure its size and shape. The OSIRIS APEX mission is a critical step in our understanding of near-Earth objects and the threats they pose to our planet. Thank you for joining us here at Astro Geeks. Together, let's keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos. Until next time, everyone, and keep your eyes on the sky.